Hello everybody, my name is Mbumila Dwaba, aka Mrs. Mom. I'm loving how everyone's actually calling me Mrs. Mom, it's like officially my name. So ever since I felt pregnant, I've been watching so many pregnancy updates. Some women do like weekly updates. I thought I was gonna do that, but uh, I think I didn't, I wasn't up to it. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Nikki Perkins and she's absolutely amazing. But anyway, so today I actually decided I'm gonna do a pregnancy update. So I did this video before and then hubby's uh, laptop decided to crash. So this is like the second time I'm doing it, but I'm gonna do it a little better. So today I'm officially 24 weeks pregnant. Yay, we passed the halfway mark. And can I just tell you guys, I'm feeling absolutely amazing. Like I'm feeling great. Um, I think also knowing that summer or spring is on its way makes me feel excited. Cause winter we were in black and jerseys and all sorts of hangy, th hangy big jerseys and stuff. But now we get to have a bit of color and yellow is my color. So I'm excited to get to a yellow and I get to, and my bump is growing. So I get to expose that. So that's pretty exciting. Um, symptoms. What symptoms have I been having? I actually haven't read. Oh no! This week I had a whole lot of back pain. Um, my lower back was really painful. I think my baby was sitting in like a weird angle. I think she was like sitting right on my bladder um, and like pushing really hard. And so my back was really in pain. Hubby didn't want to massage me. When I called him to come massage me, he massages me for like five seconds. Like, yeah, I think you're doing better now. And I'm just like, no, I need like a five hour massage. Anyway, in other great news, he booked me for a, a spa for a pregnancy massage. I know a lot of women think you're not allowed to go for a massage when you're pregnant you actually are because there's um pregnancy massages i specifically go to a place called mommy wellness um, it's actually a spa for pregnant women so they know exactly what to do they know what's needed for your skin what's sensitive what shouldn't go where to touch you and the massage base is specifically designed for pregnant women so it's absolutely amazing um i think i'll link it down below it's called mommy wellness uh, for the jobic ladies um besides back pain what other symptoms have i been having um i'm actually not having a lot of symptoms anymore like everything is i'm in a i'm in a bubbly happy jumpy space however i know that i should i think i should be feeling like kicks already um but i'm not which is quite weird let me know if you guys aren't feeling or didn't feel kicks by 24 weeks a lot of women are already um i'm not but i think the doctor did explain how my my placenta was situated it's not a bad thing at all it's just a it's different from other women which makes which takes longer for me to feel kicks on the outside but i've been feeling the flutters and all the movements inside that i can't exactly say what they are but actual kicks where i'm like oh my gosh baby kick um i haven't had those um mood swings are completely gone happy happy and i've never been happier right yeah yeah <laughs> mood swings are completely gone i'm in a good space in fact i'm motivated to like work hard and do great things so ladies um we know that our skin has changed a lot so i decided to show you guys some of my pregnancy um essentials that i swear by that have really helped me get through winter and that i will continue using this is going to be mostly body essentials yeah anyway before i get anywhere we'll start with water h2o h2o you definitely need a lot of water because we're so dehydrated we need to keep hydrated for not just for the body as a whole but for your skin as well because it's so dry our body's busy working so hard we need lots of water um i try finish a two liter not always especially if i'm gonna have a busy day because um you know the toilet run is like pretty terrible so if i'm gonna have like a really hectic day then i'll have a liter instead but i try um finish this bottle um, all the time for my face uh, it's actually almost finished. A friend of mine suggested a Clinique Moisture Surge. This really, really helped because my skin was really, really dry. You don't understand, my skin was becoming so flaky. And I've never had problem skin, so I never really uh, was specific on what I'm using, but um, this Clinique Moisture Surge has really, really helped me a lot. I feel really moisturized without, without feeling oily um, at all. Another thing that's very important for the face is sunblock 
Um, when I went for a facial complaining about my skin, the lady who did my facial told me that as black women, we don't use sunblock and that's the most important thing. So one of the reasons I didn't use sunblock is because it leaves um, purple like marks on your face and I didn't want that. Um, so the same friend, her name's Sinovuyo. You should actually follow her on, Insta on Instagram and on YouTube. She's absolutely amazing. Um, she also recommended this Palmer's Cocoa Butter um, sunscreen so I literally spray it on my hand rub it together and then tap it pat it on my my face and I know my face is protected my body so my body was flaky dry and obviously you had to prevent stretch marks I've got one or two not bad at all like I think on my thigh because that's where I've stretched or grown the most but honestly no stretch marks on my tummy at all my breasts have grown um like by three sizes up or so and no stretch marks so this is what i've been using a whole lot of oils shea butter cream now the amazing thing about this native child shea butter cream is that not only is it great for hair but it's great for the body too so i've been using this as my daily moisturizer i literally just dab a bit and i i mix it with some oils and i rub it on i'm going to show you which oils i'm using but this is, has been amazing specifically for my thigh area my breast and to rub my tummy natural product so it's absolutely perfect trying to run away for some from something that's too chemically or has strong smells because yeah my nose is pretty sensitive I, I mix this sweet almond oil into my shea butter and that's part of it this oil is also really really good it's hundred percent almond oil and it locks in the moisture which is the great part because have you ever noticed when you use something and then like 30 minutes into the day you're starting to see cracks on your buttocks or cracks on your tummy um because it's so cold and winter so hot so this um almond helps with this almond oil helps with sealing in the moisture these two pregnancy essentials this was the first thing my mom said i should go get she said go get yourself some bio oil go get yourself some a happy happy events and started and i started it as soon as i was pregnant I was I think about five six weeks pregnant yep. and this cream I use it in the morning and in the evening so I massage it on my breasts my my tummy and my thighs and this bio oil I also massage it so these all of this I can't even hold it on one hand all of this goes on to, into my body it might seem like a lot but I think if you're pregnant you'll understand that our body's just going through so much stretching and it's so sensitive and especially in winter with it being so harsh and cold because you really need all the oil and the moisture that you can get and that's what i've been doing and then for mental health because we in our hormones are crazy um i speak a lot about journaling i really really do encourage it get yourself a pretty journal you'll be inspired to write i got this pretty journal that i use for my 21 day law of attraction challenge and i wrote i write down my feelings and you know what's something beautiful that you can do as a mother you can speak life into your child I've literally written things about the type of child I want to have I speak things like you're gonna be a happy child you're gonna bring joy into the world you're gonna be a God-fearing baby you're gonna have beautiful eyes and beautiful hair little things that might sound silly I actually write them down and speak them into the life of my child and speak about how successful she's gonna be how amazing and how kind and loving uh, my baby's gonna be so I think it's important as mother to actually speak to your child while she's in the womb and um, at this stage um, the my books tell me that she can already hear me so I try my husband and I try to create a very amazing environment where we speak about God we speak about how amazing she is and we speak about our love so that already she can be introduced to an environment that is beautiful lastly um, pregnancy books I swear by these um, this pregnancy book I got from a friend is a gift. I think I'm going to do a whole lot of giveaways as well um, once I'm done with my pregnancy because I didn't even buy one book. Everyone literally said, I've got a book for you. Um, but get yourself a good pregnancy book. I really enjoy this one because it has so much information. It's called The Pregnancy and Baby Book. Yeah, so it talks about pregnancy, birth, baby and child, child care from zero to three. So I'm definitely not giving away this one. But yeah, you can get yourself any pregnancy book. And then apps that I'm using, I'm using, I'll link it down. I'm using The Bump. I'm using What to Expect. And I'm using Flow. 
yeah i know it's dramatic i've got three different ads but you know what i'm excited about my baby so yeah ladies share your experiences i'm really excited i'm feeling really good and today i'm gonna show off my bump should i show off my bump babe? Eh? Uh, yeah you can't <laughs> <laughs> my bump is finally out to play Aww, it's so and this cute. is this is my little angel she's yeah. great beautiful one more thing comfortable clothes cotton on has the most comfortable thing i got this one piece at cotton on and i'm in like comfort so much comfort and um yeah that's it for this week's update hopefully i'll get into doing more updates depends on how i feel i don't want to put myself under pressure but i hope you enjoyed this let's engage mothers let's talk let's keep it positive let's keep it encouraging and let's keep it lovely um God bless you.